Hey guys, this is absolutely amazing, great news. This is my Madagascar hissing cockroach colony. And there's babies! Okay, so I've had this colony for like a couple months, and I've also had my red runner roach colony for the same amount of months. And, well actually it's about seven, seven months. And these guys just have not been breeding. So I finally was like, okay, I don't know why they're not the right temperature, but I'm gonna put them on a heat pad anyway and immediately they started breeding. So I found one baby, which was the weirdest thing the last time I checked, but now there's a ton of babies. Oh yeah, like look at that massive female right there. And then there's a little baby crawling on her. And there's little babies everywhere. This is so fantastic. That's so exciting. So now what that means is that these guys are breeding and I know how to get them to breed. You gotta put them on a heat pad. So at some point I will put my temperature dealy thing in here so then I know exactly what temperature they need to actually be at. So then, you know, I could mark it down, write it down and stuff like that and share it with you guys. So then you guys can be sure to properly breed them. But that is so awesome. So what this means is now this is another opportunity for my animals i'll be able to feed these guys off as they breed i don't know how often if they're like as prolific as red runner roaches and dubia roaches if i'll be able to have like a very large colony i'm assuming they take a really long time to get to adulthood but i will probably little by little feed some of them off to my leopard gecko and my bearded dragon to provide diversity to their diet so very exciting and I'm very excited. So I just got them down just to check that. I need to give them some fresh food or wet food, which is like greens and stuff, but I will do that later on. Okay, so that was filmed on September 30th of 2020, and it is currently January 18th of 2021. So it's been a good couple months and here I have the roach colony, and they've been doing extraordinarily well. So I'm gonna open this up. I'll get you guys going closer, but we're gonna check the, the heating real quick so that I can show you guys what it's at so then you know what exact temperature to breed them at. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them. Look at this. This, there's a bunch of juveniles in here, so I'll try to show some of those. Like this, this size right here is probably the babies that you saw before, because this isn't an adult, I don't think, and it's just a really large juvenile. So as you can see, there's still a ton of babies, but just surface area here, it's about 80 degrees right there, and that's Fahrenheit, obviously. And then over here, it's about 100 degrees right down at this hot spot. So like right on the bottom, right where they're actually on the, the heat pad is about 100 degrees, uh, 90 to 100 degrees. So in there, like I said, just the general temp in here is 80 degrees and then around, uh, at the bottom, it's 100 degrees. And they do fantastic. They, they're eating really well. And as you can see, I have so many. Jeez, I didn't even know I had this many, but this is how to breed them, super easy. I have this container that can be locked and that's pretty much it for these guys. And then I feed them fresh vegetables, oats, and also supplements and fish food every once in a while. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope you found this helpful. Like I said, ambient temperature, 80 degrees, hot spot, uh, 100 degrees, and they do fantastic in that. And I've had like no losses, so they do very well. Hope this helped. Have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you want more content.